This video is going to go through how to install the latest distribution of Orca for parallel computations on Windows using Microsoft MPI version 8.1. If you prefer to just read the steps, they are included below in the description. Two different distributions of Orca 4 exist for Windows. In this video, we will go over how to install and run a parallel computation under Microsoft Windows directly. If you are interested in running Orca 4 under a more Linux type environment using SigWin, please watch my other video linked here. To be able to download and install Orca, you will need to first register at orcaforum.cec.mpg.de. Within the forum, the links to the latest releases of Orca are available, along with many great discussions and pointers in utilizing this wonderful tool. Once we have downloaded the Orca 4 distribution for Windows and the MSMPI protocol, we can download Microsoft MPI version 8.1 from the Microsoft website. A direct link to the software is provided below in the description. You need to make sure that you are using only version 8.1, as that is the tested and approved version for Orca at the moment. In addition to the core software needed to run Orca 4, you may need to download software that can unpack the downloaded Orca 4 file, such as 7-zip from www.7-zip.org. Another piece of software that I personally prefer for Windows systems is Notepad++, which can be downloaded from www.notepad-plus-plus.org. Notepad++ is a superior replacement to the standard Windows Notepad text editor for writing Orca input files. Once the Orca 4 package and the MSMPI installation files have been downloaded, we can start getting Orca set up. Installation of MSMPI should be straightforward and occurs in a similar fashion to other pieces of software within Windows. Next, we will unpack the downloaded Orca file into a directory of our choice. I personally have a dedicated folder for all of my chemistry-related software. The folder extracts another folder inside of it with a very unwieldy name, so I am moving all of the Orca files to the more comfortably named Orca 4 folder. Orca can only be executed and used from a command line terminal, but to allow us to execute Orca in any folder, we will need to make a change to our Windows installation's environmental variables. To do this, we will need to open the control panel from the start menu. Once in the control panel, we will click on the system icon, followed by advanced system settings in the list to the left. This will open the system properties window. Under the advanced tab, we will click on the environment variables button in the lower right corner. Within the system variables menu of the environment variables window, we will click on the path variable followed by the edit button. To the end of the variable value line, we will add a semicolon followed by the path to your ORCA directory. In my case, it is d colon backslash chemistry backslash ORCA4. Now we have set up the path variable to our ORCA installation, we can generate a separate computations folder to store our ORCA input and output files. To test and make sure that we set up our path variable correctly, we will prepare a simple geometry optimization input file for a water molecule. We can use any simple text editor to create our ORCA input files, but as I previously stated, I personally prefer Notepad++. I will go into more detail regarding the various components of an ORCA input file at a later date, but for now we can just use the file that is given as an example on the ORCA input Google site for water. I will include the text for the input file below in the description so that it can be easily copied. To execute Orca computations, we will need to enter the Windows command line. This can be accessed from the Windows Start menu by entering CMD into the search bar. Within the command line, we can move into the directory containing our computation using the CD commands. Once we're in the directory that contains our input file, we can start the Orca computation by entering the command Orca space the name of the file dot INP space the greater than symbol space the name of our file dot out. The second file name will be the name of our output file, which will have a dot out extension. You can name it whatever you want, it doesn't have to be the same name as your input file. Our computation is now underway. Once the cursor returns, we will know that the computation is finished. We can now open the water.out file to see the results of our simple computation of the water molecule. We can scroll to the bottom of the file to see that Orca terminated normally, which is a result that we should be happy with. If everything went correct for you, you are now able to run Orca using a single processor, but there may be molecules and computations for which you may want to utilize the full potential of your multiprocessor PC. To do this, we need to add an additional command line into our Orca input file. I am going to create a new folder for the 6-core computation to optimize the geometry of a water molecule. In order for Orca to know how many processors to utilize for a computation, we will need to include the keyword PAL. In this case, I would like to use my six processing cores, and we'll enter the keyword PAL6 and save the file. If we were to now type in the same command just using the Orca command, we would get an error. This is because just using the Orca command doesn't allow for a parallel computation to be executed. To properly execute the multi-core computation, we have to enter the full path location of the Orca executable file, which in my case is D colon 
colon backslash chemistry backslash orca four backslash orca space water six dot INP space greater than symbol space water six dot out. To verify that the computation was successful and used multiple CPU cores, we can open the output file. Within the file, it should now have a notice stating how many parallel processes using MPI the calculation utilized. In addition, we should see that ORCA terminated normally and our computation was successful. Since entering the full path every time that we want to execute a multiprocess ORCA computation is a real bother, we can simplify our life by generating a .bat file in our Windows installation system32 folder. First, we will create the .bat file using Notepad++. On the first line of the file, we will enter at echo space off. On the second line of the file, we will enter call, and then we will put in the location of our ORCA file, which in my case would be call space d colon backslash chemistry backslash ORCA4 backslash ORCA, followed by a space and the percentage sign and an asterisk. We will now save this file as orcamp.bat onto our desktop. You can replace the ORCA MP file name with a different name of your choice, but I think that it is as simple and concise for the purpose that we have. Now we will want to move the newly generated ORCA MP.bat file into our System32 folder. At this point, I want to give a simple word of caution, not to alter or delete any additional files within the System32 folder. Making any changes can corrupt your Windows installation. To access our System32 folder within Windows Explorer, we will open the drive that contains our Windows installation, which is typically the C drive. Within the drive, we will open the Windows folder, followed by the System32 folder. We can then simply drag and drop the orca mp.bat file from our desktop into the System32 folder. The orca mp command should now be available. Within the Windows command terminal, we we can now type in orca mp space water 6.inp space greater than symbol space water 6.out and it will successfully access the full path to orca and run a parallel computation. We can verify that the computation used 6 cores and that it completed successfully by looking at the output file again. And that is it. Your PC is now set up to run serial and parallel computation using the Orca software package under Windows. I hope that all of you will get some great publishable data that will continue to push chemistry, especially inorganic chemistry, forward.